We've won eight league games in a row and we've risen from 19th in the table up to third. Can we make an unlikely title push? We've got a major challenge today against the Busby Babes of Manchester United. Hello guys, it's me, Bad Jokes, back at you once again with another video. And today guys, we've got episode number three of More to Win, my West Ham United series here on the 1966-67 database, which of course has been created by the one and only Mad Scientist. His link will be down below so you can download this database for yourself. And yeah guys, we've got a big game today. We are at home against Manchester United, who are of course managed by the legendary Matt Busby. And before the season started, they was favourites to win the league. But as you can see, the season has not gone to plan for them. They are 10th in the table on exactly half the points of Chelsea, who are top of the league and running away with it a little bit. At the minute, we of course are in third after a magnificent eight wins in a row has really transformed our season. Let's go and have a look at how we've got to that eight wins. I left you after that phenomenal result against Arsenal and Tottenham. What an episode that was. Hope you boys enjoyed that. I'm recording this before I get episode two out because I'm getting myself a little bit organised now which is very nice. And so I hope you guys did enjoy that episode. And following on from that, we played against West Brom. Johnny Byrne got a hat-trick. Peter's got the other one as we beat them 4-1. And then in the fourth round of the League Cup, we got a pretty simple 2-0 win against the second division Crystal Palace side. Took us a little bit longer than I would have liked to have got the breakthrough. But we did get it and we did make it look fairly comfortable. So I was happy enough with that result. And then moving on from that, Sheffield Wednesday back in the league. We beat them at 3-1. Johnny Byrne with another couple. And Peter Braybrook with the other one. As we did win that game 3-1. And then we had a phenomenal result against Everton. 5-0 win. They did have a man sent off, but we was already 3-0 up by that point. Uh, Johnny Byrne again getting a goal. Jeff Hurst from midfield getting a goal. Martin Peters getting himself a hat-trick, showing that whatever Jeff Hurst can do in the World Cup, Martin Peters can do in the first division. And so that was another very nice result. And then the last one. 3-1 victory against Fulham. Johnny Haynes getting them a consolation goal in the 95th minute. But we had already got the game all wrapped up by then. Martin Peters with two, including one in the 94th minute. Ron Boyce with the other one in the 83rd. And so, yeah, that takes us to 10 games all in all. Unbeaten, eight in the league, two in the League Cup. And so, yeah, I'm very, very happy with how things are going at the minute. So let's crack on with the game today. I don't want today's episode to be as long as the previous one because there was a lot of goals in that one, a lot more than I was expecting. So I do apologise if that episode was a little bit long. And so, yeah, we're the favourites. Wow, will you ever see that in an episode of FM? West Ham being favourites in a game against Manchester United. We are in excellent form with 6-4 to four to win the game. And yeah, I'm going to go for a 3-0 win, I think. As this is going to be the team for the game. McElworth in goal. Burkitt, Moore, Brown, Burnett as our back four. Bovington, Redknapp and Hurst as our midfield. And then Peters and Braybrook on the wings. And Johnny Byrne up top. And as you can see, Martin Peters is our top scorer so far this season. 14 goals he's got. And he's wanted by Liverpool, which is a little bit of a concern. But hopefully we can keep hold of him. 
And so, yeah, let's go crack on with the game. I'm going to go 2 0 win. 2 0 for us. I think we're going to make it look nice and easy. As there goes United, going with a 4 5 1. Stepney in goal. Dunn, Folks, Sadler, and Brennan as the back four. Don't really recognise any of those names. But if anybody watching does recognise any of them, please do let me know any interesting stories or facts about them. And then we've got Cantwell, Cholton, uh, Paddy Creand, I think that's how you say his name, uh, Nobby Styles, and Georgie Best. Keeping him quiet is going to be difficult, you would imagine. So they've got a very good midfield, and of course Dennis Law up front, who has only scored six goals this year. You might have expected a few more than that. And Georgie Best only has four. So, you never know. They are having a quiet season. Can we get a result here today? Going to go passionate. We've been on a good one lately. And only Burns gained confidence from that. Here we go. Going for the old George Michael. Got to have faith for faith for faith. And, yeah, here we go. Come on, lads. One more win for the Cockney boys would be very nice. Here we go, first highlight of the game, and it's Martin Peters with a very poor free kick. 15 minutes just about coming up now. Redknapp with the ball in midfield, he's got a little bit of a knock, but he's into space. Goes to Jeff Hurst, to Redknapp. And can he play it out wide? He does, burn it as it. Can he get it into Hurst? No, goes back to Redknapp, to Braybrook. And into Johnny Byrne, who goes for the shot, he's hit the post. And Manchester United just about get the ball away. McElworth now with a goal kick for us. Goes short to burn it. And burn it to Brown. As it's, as it's looking like we're going to have to take Harry Redknapp off in a minute. Uh, but now he's on the ball. Can he find a teammate? He does. He goes wide to burn. But there's nobody in the box because that's where we'd want Burn to be. But they've headed it away. Braybrook crosses it back. Peters with the header. And that's way too easy for Stepney to catch. Highlight still going. Their keepers just cleared it, but we're coming back at them again. Redknapp with a nice pass there. Peter's just about keeping it in. And he crosses it, goes to Braybrook. Stepney with the save. And they scramble it away again. Let, let's make that change, people. Let's get Redknapp off for Trevor Brooking. Let's see what Brooking can do against Manchester United. There's a simple like-for-like like change with Brooking coming on for Redknapp. Half an hour gone. The Man United keeper just clears the ball, but we get it back. Burke it to the god Bobby Moore. To Martin Peters. And he's got a man out wide if he wants him. Nope, he's just running forward himself. Finally gives it to Braybrook. And goes to Jeff Hurst. Back to burn it. We're keeping the ball nicely here. United not really pressing us all that much. Brooking to burn it. Burn it forward again. A nice little bit of interplay between the two. Burn is in a lot of trouble there. But they win it back. But we, we get it off Braybrook. Brooking. Hurst. Brooking. And he's got a man out wide. Burke it. Yep. If he wants to go for an early cross. That could be a good idea. But no. Peters. Brooking. And he's got himself some space. Is he going to take the shot on? Nope. Braybrook. Braybrook, here he is. Goes for the shot. It's hit the bar. And United survive for the second. As we win the ball back again off their clearance. Burkitt. Forward to Peters. We've had 11 shots. to 11 shots with 5 on target. To their 3 shots. And now Bovington with it. And again we've hit the post. How many times is that we've hit the post today? 38 minutes gone. Again, it's their man clearing the ball off the goal kick. Paddy Creon with it. Into Cholton. His pass tries to get to their man, but Burnett is in the perfect position to intercept it. And now it's Trevor Brooking. Coming forward over the halfway line. Loses it again. Styles goes out wide to Cantwell. And Cantwell now, is he going to go for the early cross? Nope. Dennis Law. Up top all by himself. Goes to Canwell. To Cholton. To Dunn. And back to Cholton. And to Cantwell. They're, they're playing the ball rather nicely now. They've crossed it in. Burkett heads it away. Dennis Law with the shot. And that just goes wide. Alright then lads. That's half time. 
And I think it's fair to say we have been the better team. We've had 14 shots to their six. We've had six on target with them just having the one. And we have had more of the possession. We just haven't been able to break them down yet. That five in midfield is proving rather difficult to get through. But hopefully we're going to be able to do it in the second half. As I'm going to go assertive. I'm far from pleased. See if that can get the lads motivated. And yes it has. Most of them are fired up. So let's get into the second half. 46 minutes gone. A minute into the second half. Jeff Hurst goes to Brooking on the edge of the Man United box. Brooking. Bovington. He goes for a long shot there. And that is disappointing. 62 minutes gone now. Alex Stepney with the ball for United. Clears it long. But of course we get it back. And now it's Brooking. Can he find our main man up top, Johnny Byrne? He might not need to. He's into the box. He's shot. Trevor Brooking. <laughs> what a goal to score for your first for your club. What a goal that was. Have a look at this on the replay. Brooking made it look easy. Got the ball right on the halfway line. Ran deep into their half. And then nobody closed him down, so he took the shot on. And we are 1-0 up against the Busby Babes. Alright, one more change, just to see what we can do to get another goal, just to absolutely wrap this game up, as we're bringing on Alan Seeley for Peter Braybrook. So, nice, it's simple change there again, just like for like, but hopefully Seeley might have a little bit more pace. Oh, just about a minute left in normal time. We've had a corner and it's been headed by Peters and it's gone wide. There we go, guys. That's the final whistle. Nice, simple 1-0 win. Man United didn't really challenge us all that much. 12 shots they had with 5 on target. Compared to our 23 shots with 10 on target. I think you can say we was the rightful winners of that game. And that win keeps us in third in the table. Now just a point behind Liverpool. Could we catch them soon? That would be rather nice. So let's go into the dressing room. Let's go passionate. Uh, nice victory. Well done. And then after the game's finished saving, we will see where we're going to come back for the next episode. Alright guys, so I think we're going to come back for the Liverpool game on New Year's Day. That could be a very interesting game if we both keep our current form going. So that's the one we're going to come back for. And that's where I'm going to leave it for today. If you've enjoyed that video, give it a massive thumbs up down below. Thank you for all the likes on episode 1. Absolutely blew my mind getting that many likes on the first video. Thank you so, so much. And yep guys, follow me on Twitter, twitter.com slash badjokesgaming, I think it is. The link will be down below. And follow me on Twitch, twitch.tv slash badjokesgames. I'm going to be doing ETS2 every, every weekday apart from Thursday. So Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Friday, 12 till 2pm. I'll be doing ETS2 over on the Twitch channel. And yep guys, I think that's just about everything for me to plug. Subscribe to the channel as well. And any new subscriptions we can get would be amazing. I'm on 406 as we record this. I would love to get to 500 by the end of the year. So if we can manage that, that would be incredible. And yep guys, thank you so much for watching. I shall see you next time. Bye.